We got to get better, you know, uh, we got to get better. But I, I do like uh, what I'm seeing from a lot of the guys. Uh, we are getting better. Uh, it's just uh, patience, you know, in terms of learning the new defense and some of the new drills and techniques that I'm looking uh, to get out of these guys. But they are giving me the effort, so I can't complain about that. You know, they're working their tails off. It's just it requires some patience on my part, you know, to continue to work with these men and uh, help them reach the goals that they want to attain. What last statement do you feel you made last week? Um, you know, I thought I thought it was uh, was good for us. It was good for the university. Um, you know, but it's a long way to go. So at the end of the day, we got to continue to 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 recruit and to continue to, to win with the relationships, the genuine approach that we have and that we like. Uh, you know, obviously there was a family uh, type of environment around here, and uh, at the end of the day, SC sells itself. You know, so you don't have to to do anything uh, out of the ordinary. It's just you know, you're getting those guys up here and, uh, you know, spending time with them. And at the end of the day, that that that, that usually works when it's real. What do you yeah. emphasize in your sales pitch? Um, I'm just a relationship guy. You know, I love uh, meeting people, love having fun uh, with families and uh, and just, you know, being me you know, at the end of the day. And, um, and uh, typically that should, should work. Now that you've been back on, in college for two and a half months, what, what do you feel like you've learned about the recruiting process? Um, I mean, it's just you, you, you can't ever get comfortable, you know. Uh, I think it's it's always going to be about building those relationships. It's always going to be about being um, willing to, you know, withstand the test of time in terms of, you know, going the distance, if you will. Um, and so at the end of the day, I, I look forward to it. I mean, it's who we are. It's fun. It's uh, genuine. And uh, and guys, you know, love to, to, to visit when they can. So it's all good. I think when it's real, you can tell, you know, and so at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. You know, I think, uh, you know, when you really care about people, people can feel that and uh, you really want what's best for the, for the young man and his family. Um, I think that always wins in my uh, mind. And then not to mention the developmental process um, is going to be the best that he can, any defensive lineman that, that come here uh, can get in terms of your preparation for the next level. And if that's really what you want, if you really have someone that truly cares about you, then there's not a better school than this. You know, and so at the end of the day, that's really what it is. When you're, when, when you're building those relationships and, and, the, and the development, yeah. what are the differences between doing that at the professional level and then trying to do it with the college level? It's all the same. I mean, we're all people. We all want and, and truly care about the same things in a sense. And so at the end of the day, it's just sometimes you get uh, some guys that are obviously older, um, that, that are done with college. When you talk about uh, men that's been in the NFL for a while, but when you're talking about just being who you are as a person and, and truly caring and getting to know those people, at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. And, uh, and I just love that. I think that's part of coaching. I think that's part of being able to coach guys hard when you can do those things. And so um, I look forward to that. I, I just I know I know that's the key to success in my mind. Eric, how did you get Aaron Donald out here this weekend? And, you know, what, was, what was it like for the crews just to see him? Well, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, AD just he just came to show support. You know, and, and that's really what it was all about. This was something that, 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 you know, he just wanted to come out. It was a great day to come out. Uh, didn't know it was going to rain, but, you know, it was uh, just happened to, to work out that, you know, people were, were able to see him. But wasn't like it was planned. It was just one of those deals that he just, you know, happened to come out and it was just a good situation for us. So. We're, we're working with these guys for the first five practices. Who's impressed you? Who's really caught your eye, like being out there with them on the field? I think the, the group as a whole has, has really been impressive. Um, I don't, I don't want to, you know, uh, elevate one person over the other at this particular time. I think we're all working together to form the um, type of uh, room that we really want to have. We talk about the co cohesiveness, the way that we're able to play together, the physicality that we want to play with, creating that mindset, that edge, you know, and just continuing to get better with the techniques. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You know, we can control the line of scrimmage, right? I think we can win a lot of football games. And so we're building to be able to do that. What's resonating with the recruits right now? Um, again, I think, um, you know, just 
genuine people here. I mean, we really have good people here on our staff. Um, I think when people get out here and actually see what we have here, when you talk about everything that SC can offer from a um, career outside of football standpoint, and then not to mention the uh, pathway to the NFL, especially when you talk about the, uh, the defensive linemen that are able to, uh, to come through here and have came through here. Um, I mean, that's, that's everything. I mean, if, you, if that's what you want, then where else are you looking to go? I mean, there's not a better place. And so that's just the reality of what it is, you know? And so I think people are starting to realize that. And then it's when they take the chance to come and visit, you know, it's, it's solidified. And so that's, that's where we are right now. Let's do one more. You talk about patience when you were coming here uh, in the first few weeks from practice. How does coming back with coaching college students and college athletes kind of test your patience as a coach? <laughs> you know, I mean, just continuing to have to say the same thing more than once, right? You know, sometimes, like, you know, these guys are, are, are young, they're tired, they've been in class all day. You know, I have to understand that as well. It's not like when you get these group of NFL guys, they, they come from home fresh, you know, just woken up. They got a lot of energy. So they didn't have to think about school. These guys been in class all day and now they're a little bit tired. So I get it. I understand it. And that's where our patience on my part, you know, has to continue to be there for them and just understand. I know that the developmental process is going to work for these guys. They know that. And so it's just a matter of continuing to do those things, and but understanding that there's a sense of urgency in terms of how quick we want to get to the level that we want to be at. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.